Of the many profound yet often overlooked teachings of Nichiren Daishonin, the practice of Shakyabuku stands out for its uncompromising directive yet widely misunderstood nature. Shakyabuku, meaning, to break and subdue, refers to the act of rebuking attachment to inferior or erroneous doctrines and breaking through deeply rooted delusions in order to guide others to the ultimate truth of the Lotus Sutra. While the term may conjure images of religious condemnation or forced conversion for some, Shakyabuku is seen in Nichiren Buddhism as a compassionate, courageous act to awaken others to the correct teaching and path to enlightenment. It flows from the Bodhisattva spirit, aiming to help all people realize their inherent Buddha nature by embracing the mystic law of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo found in the Lotus Sutra. As Nichiren Daishonin adamantly declared, even at the risk of my life, I will not cease to advocate the Lotus Sutra. This vow encapsulates the spirit of Shakyabuku, which presses us to share the Lotus Sutra's wisdom with others, even in the face of derision, rejection, or persecution. For the Daishonin, proselytizing the Lotus Sutra was a matter of fulfilling his compassionate mission to alleviate the suffering of humanity through enabling enlightenment. Through courageous Shakyabuku, Nichiren Buddhists compassionately strive to break others free from the chains of inferior belief systems so they may enjoy lives of genuine happiness and security. Shakyamuni Buddha himself decreed in the Kano Sutra, Now this threefold world is all my domain. The living beings in it are all my children. Therefore, out of responsibility as Buddha's disciples, we must guide all people we can to the Lotus Sutra as an act of universal compassion. This raises the question, what constitutes an inferior teaching? Nichiren Daishonin harshly criticized the schools of Buddhism prominent in 13th century Japan, claiming they had strayed from Shakyamuni's true intent. The Daishonin's doctrine upholds the Lotus Sutra as the exclusive distillation of Shakyamuni's enlightenment and the ultimate truth for our time. The Buddha did not proclaim all sutras as equal in validity or effect. Hence, Urging faith in the Lotus Sutra through Shakyabuku is a way to free others from misguided views so they may develop a state of indestructible happiness. It is the supreme act of compassion. Detractors may characterize Shakyabuku as intolerant or disrespectful toward other faiths. But in the spirit of the Lotus Sutra, it is solely focused on enabling the enlightenment of all people, not disparaging others. The Daishonin himself said, Seated within the violet bamboo groves of India, Shakyamuni set forth principles that would fulfill what was lacking in the lifetime of each person. Shakyabuku is aligned with this aim. Therefore, while its practice may seem controversial in modern society, Shakyabuku arises from the wish for all humanity to uncover their sublime potential by connecting to the law Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It should not be misconstrued as an attack on others but rather an urgent plea to open their eyes to the gifts bestowed by the Lotus Sutra. Master Nichikan perhaps conveyed the spirit of Shakyabuku most eloquently when he wrote, One who rushes headlong into decisive battle, intent on achieving victory such is the practitioner of Shakyabuku. We must approach our efforts to propagate the Lotus Sutra with the conviction that it is unsurpassed in merit possessing the power to unlock boundless wisdom and happiness for humankind. Through bold Shakyabuku rooted in compassion, Nichiren Buddhists strive to fulfill their mission of establishing the true Dharma for the enlightenment of all living beings. They rush courageously and indefatigably into the decisive battle against ignorance and false views that regrettably engulf so many, determined to achieve the lasting victory of enlightenment for all.